So we finished up the bike project, a little quicker than we thought, but it turned out all right. Took it out for a couple of test rides and it works just fine. Seems to be uh, suspension and all that's in pretty good shape. One thing to uh, always check on these bikes and mountain bikes, this thing has air pressure shocks, so I found out the shocks needed to be filled from on both sides from underneath. So I got that done nice and stiff. Got a little bit of off-road, just a minute or two of jumping over stuff to make sure that the suspension and everything works great. Brakes work fine. <clears throat> the last of the assembly here, uh, fairly simple, we'll finish up the wiring. Put on the body panels and I wired in a, uh, a real voltmeter instead of the LEDs, which are kind of a strange thing to read at times. Uh, this one I did not use the standard dash box. If you want to use the low speed, low power mode, there's another connector on the Altrix controller for that. You can just hook it up to a switch and up to the top end of the battery. And that theoretically makes it into a legal electric bicycle range, which I rode it today as an electric bicycle at low speeds on the road. So the body panels on these things came in white. Just white. Always white. Never color. So the first thing you do when you design a great new bike is you focus everything on the suspension. And this one here uh, was like all of them that was plain white. So I got some cryon plastics paint. And the, the battery painted up fairly easily with a little bit of uh, um, <clears throat> cleaning up with steel wool. But in these other panels I tried to really sand them a little bit and I ended up with a lot of scratches in the finish here. So I suggest you have to clean these things off and not just clean them liquid wise to get wax off but you have to break the glaze on the surface of this plastic otherwise it just won't stick so just stick with a steel wool this is an example piece that I used and this this paints almost two weeks old and the cryon can be scratched off with your fingernail now that was clean with alcohol this was sanded on the other hand and so a sanded panel is much harder uh, the cryon paint is um, fairly cheap and fairly available, but you definitely want to prep the surface, otherwise you're going to have this kind of an issue right here. So you can get some color on these things, it improves the look of them a lot. Uh, you can customize it that way, pull the plastics off very easily, and uh, stick them on a bench, sand them, prep them, and paint them in a matter of a few minutes. Uh, so our project here is mostly done. Uh, I was going to install some lights and uh, tail light just to ride around just in, if you're out on the trails at night. So uh, any any electric bike conversion you can do very similar. Getting the motor, the controller, or off-the-shelf items. The battery is the only thing. The problem with these batteries again is they uh, have to be kept on the charger nursing all the time. If you leave it off for a period of time, it takes half the upper half of the cells and use them to keep the lower half alive. And so if the bike sits around without being charged, you'll lose your battery in a matter of no time. There's a, probably a lot of these donor bikes out there that have bad battery. But don't be afraid of that because you can go out and get Headways or Thunder Sky batteries and put your own packs together. I have a Headways, which is a 48-volt, uh, 50-amp delivery with a 100-amp peak battery on my bicycle and you could easily put two of those inside of this box wire it up in parallel and uh, have two separate chargers or just charge them one at a time and replace this battery so I think the big concern is people think oh I have only can use this battery well I wired this bike up without that extra line that goes from the battery to the controller box and you can charge slowly a pack without having to have a big balancing circuit going in in this case doesn't really matter what battery because this has no controls that will stop a battery from working when it gets too low of a voltage you just have to keep an eye on it and finish and shut down before the battery gets too low the lithium ions like any battery if you run them all the way down it's just like punching them in the head it's not good you do that a dozen times and your battery is going to lose capacity and the same thing with these batteries is they made them a little higher than 48 volts so the charger fills it up but not quite all the way so because the battery is never fully charged or fully discharged, it'll last a lot longer. That's how you get a lot of cycle times, a thousand to two thousand cycle times. So, well, good luck on your projects and have fun.